I understand that Quakers tend not to use the word church to describe their gatherings, but instead call them meetings. You were telling me about unprogrammed and programmed Quaker meetings. Does your meeting have a pastor? Yes. The meeting I'm part of is semi-programmed and has a pastor. We are blessed with members gifted in various ways who all contribute to the edification of the meeting. Our pastor truly has the spiritual gift of pastoring. She is also very good at making space for others to express their gifts. Wait a minute. Your pastor is a woman? Sure. Women have been in roles of ministry and leadership from the very beginning of the Quaker movement 350 years ago. Because Quakers believe that God is at work in everyone, we don't consider a particular gender or race or class to be favored by God over others. God gives each person gifts and abilities according to his sovereign will, and it is not our place to put limits on that. Because of this emphasis on the value of all people, Quakers were at the forefront of the women's equality movement, as well as the abolition of slavery. This is also why Quakers in America, such as William Penn, were known for treating the Indians with respect. Quakers also initiated the practice of humane treatment of the mentally ill, and it was a Quaker named Elizabeth Fry who was considered the pioneer of prison reform. The work of Elizabeth Fry has been honored by her picture being put on the British five-pound note. The flip side of Quaker equality is that Quakers have gotten into trouble for not treating authorities differently from anybody else. For example, in the 17th century, it was customary to remove your hat when in the presence of someone who was superior to you in the social pecking order. Quakers refused to participate in this custom, thus treating everyone equally. Many Quakers went to jail for this. I heard that Quakers also won't swear an oath in court to tell the truth. That's right. Here's why. Quakers place a very high value on honesty. If I swear an oath to tell the truth, it implies that I'm using a higher standard of truth while under oath than at other times. Quakers endeavor to always speak the truth, so swearing an oath to tell the truth is irrelevant. Many Quakers went to prison because they refused to swear oaths. In modern times, thanks to the Quakers, people in many nations have a legal right to decline to swear oaths. Here is another interesting thing about Quakers and truth. Did you know that it was Quakers who began the practice of putting fixed prices on store merchandise? It used to be that when you went into a store you had to haggle with the shopkeeper on the price of merchandise. Quakers felt that it was unethical to cause someone to pay less or more based on their negotiating skills, so they simply marked each item with a fair price. This meant that customers could send a child to a Quaker-run store to purchase an item without having to worry about being overcharged. It is because of this type of integrity that Quakers became very successful in business. Like Quaker Oats. Actually, the Quaker Oats company never was Quaker. They called themselves that to take advantage of the reputation that Quakers had. On the other hand, the four largest British candy companies, Cadbury, Fry, Rowtree and Terry, were founded by Quakers. Did you know that, according to author Roald Dahl, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory was based on Cadbury's? So what, are you claiming, that Willy Wonka was a Quaker? No. Of course not. Besides candy, the Quakers also founded the British iron and steel industry, as well as the British railway system. Lloyd's and Barclays banks were founded by Quakers. Many English Quakers went into business because they were not allowed by law to go to college or be elected to government. They flourished in business because of their integrity. Quakers view every part of their life as being under God's direct leading, including their business dealings. Are Quakers still that way? I think so. One of the things that attracted me to Quakerism was that they still have a commitment to honesty and integrity which I often found lacking elsewhere.